Attention, all the news in this video are all from around the internet and from our sources, we deliver to you the most realistic news, make sure to listen well and you can turn on the caption. Anthony Marshall agrees to severe loan but Manchester United stall after two more clubs make contact. Anthony Marshall has agreed to join Sevilla on loan but Manchester United are still not happy with the Spanish side's offer, while two European giants have also declared interest in the striker. The Frenchman is keen to leave Old Trafford in the January transfer window having fallen down the pecking order in recent seasons, with his opportunities remaining limited under new interim boss Ralf Rangnick. Rangnick confirmed at the end of last month that Marshall has asked to leave the club, though United had yet to receive any official offers at that time. Since then Sevilla have inquired about taking the 26-year-old on loan, though there were question marks over Marshall's willingness to join the Spanish side while they were not prepared to pay a loan fee or take on the striker's full salary. Sevilla's unwillingness to stump up any cash to sign Marshall on loan has opened the door for other clubs to try and sign him, with Juventus and Barcelona both registering their interest in recent days. Marshall would prefer to join one of the two European giants, who have both opened talks with United and made contact with the Frenchman's agent. At the moment, however, neither club has made an official offer and there are some doubts over whether they could afford to offer more than Sevilla, particularly with Barca struggling financially and unable to register new signing Ferran Torres until they have got other players off their books. Marshall is believed to earn around £180,000 a week and United want his salary covered in full in addition to a significant loan fee. Manchester United offer Paul Pogba a huge £500,000 a week contract. Manchester United bosses have not given up hope of keeping Paul Pogba at the club and have made an enormous final salary offer to convince the contract rebel to stay, according to reports. The Frenchman has entered the final six months of his deal with the Red Devils after rejecting talks over an extension and is now able to discuss a pre-contract agreement with foreign clubs ahead of a free transfer. Pogba had been widely expected to leave Old Trafford in the summer but he has not received as much interest from other clubs as he was expecting, providing one last opportunity for United. According to The Sun, United are willing to offer Pogba a far larger salary than any other club and hope to blow rival suitors such as Paris Saint-Germain, Real Madrid and Juventus out of the water. The Red Devils have offered Pogba a total package worth £500,000 a week, a salary which would make him the highest paid player in Premier League history. Despite the enormous salary, United remain pessimistic about the chances of Pogba staying and fear he will leave the club regardless. Although they can offer a mammoth wage packet, United are not willing to offer the 28-year-old, who they have already spent £89 million on to sign from Juventus five years ago, a similarly enormous signing on fee. But the many European giants who are chasing Pogba would be prepared to offer the World Cup winner and his agent Mino Raiola lucrative signing on fees given that they would be picking him up on a free transfer. Although United risk losing Pogba for nothing in the summer, they will not entertain any offers this month and are refusing to sell him. Man United are readying a huge offer for Chelsea star Antonio Rudiger. The centre-back is out of contract at the European champions at the end of the season and has thrown his future into major doubt after rejecting a new contract. United source has told Football Insider that Rudiger is firmly on their radar as they look to recruit a new centre back ahead of the summer. The Premier League giants are planning to offer a highly lucrative long-term contract to Rudiger in an attempt to win the race for his signature. United face strong competition for the defender's signature from Tottenham as well as elite clubs on the continent including Real Madrid and Bayern Munich. Overseas clubs have a major advantage as they can formally secure Rudiger to a pre-contract agreement this month. The Germany international has rejected a new Chelsea contract after being angered at being offered a worse deal than Mason Mount. The Champions League holders have been told they will have to make Rudiger their top earner if they are to tie him down to a new deal. The stalemate has opened the door to rival clubs now the window for January business is ajar. United and Spurs cannot secure Rudiger to a pre-contract this month but they can get a deal in place with a view to him joining in the summer. 
Fabrizio Romano replies when requested if Man United will make any January signings. In line with Italian reporter Romano, Manchester United usually are not more likely to signal a brand new striker this month, with the Red Devils often preferring to do the majority of their enterprise in the summertime window. Nevertheless, Romano has additionally prompt that the Red Devils are holding one eye open on potential recruits in defensive midfield, with Borussia Mönchengladbach's Dennis Zakaria a possible choice. Talking on the Five YouTube channel, Romano mentioned, I anticipate Man United to go just for alternatives, so I don't see something massive like prime names in January. But when they'll have the chance to go for a defensive midfielder, it could be in choice. I need to say, it's not 100% positive, from what I'm advised, the main focus at Man United is for the summertime, not for January. But when a possibility can be available on the market, like for instance Dennis Zakaria from Borussia Mönchengladbach, many golf equipment approached this boy, Liverpool, Barcelona Juventus, let's see if Man United will think about to leap on it in January. In the meanwhile, it's not superior. It's one of many prospects they've mentioned, however it's not one thing 100% positive. In the event that they do one thing, it will likely be in that defensive midfield place, that's what I'm advised, greater than for strikers. The 25-year-old Zakaria is reported to have been attracting curiosity from a few of Europe's prime golf equipment these days following his good type for Borussia Mönchengladbach. The Switzerland Worldwide, who made two appearances at Euro 2020 final summertime, has scored two objectives and made one help in 15 Bundesliga video games up to now this season for Gladbach. Jack Wilshere sends message to Jesse Lingard over Manchester United future. Ex-Arsenal and West Ham star Wilshere, speaking on TalkSport, suggested the attacking midfielder had a right to feel frustrated with his current situation in the wake of such an outstanding loan spell at the London Stadium last season. I think after the six months he had last year when he was at West Ham he probably went back to Manchester United thinking he was going to get a chance and he probably deserved a chance, Wilshere said. That's probably why he didn't leave and it will be interesting to see what happens this window. He hasn't played enough, he probably deserves to play, he will feel he deserves to play with the way they've been playing. But Wilshere encouraged Lingard to sit back, and realize how lucky, he is at United, where he has been since the age of seven, before making any knee-jerk decisions over his future. The grass isn't always greener. I had this a few times at Arsenal with players that didn't really want to be there, Wilshere added. Sometimes you need to sit back and look at how lucky you are to be at a big club like that with the fans. All right, they're not challenging, but it's still a big club. Teams go there and they are intimidated by that. To be on that side of the fence rather than going to them places makes a massive difference. Lingard has scored 35 goals in 222 games since breaking into United's first team back in 2011, winning the FA Cup, the EFL Cup and the Europa League with his boyhood club. It's understood the Red Devils are ready to listen to offers for Lingard and have slapped a £20 million price tag on the playmaker this January.